Hello, my name is Mark Valencia with OSS Integrators. Today I'll be demonstrating how to use MIB Manager to create Netcool rules files from MIBs. Once MIB Manager is loaded, we're going to need to import the MIB. So this is simply done by clicking the import button in the upper left hand corner. Now MIB Manager is asking us where the MIB is at. I like to keep things simple and place my MIBs on my desktop in a folder called MIB folder. Once we select the MIB folder, I do not have any subdirectories in here, so I can simply click import. The left hand side of the status frame displays counts of the various MIB object types as they are discovered in the parsing of the imported MIB files. The right hand side displays a tree view of any important or any import statements found within the imported MIBs and whether or not these import statements are resolved. A question mark icon a question mark icon indicates that the MIB module referenced within an imported MIBs import statement has not yet been resolved. A tick icon or check mark indicates successful resolution of the import statement and a cross icon means that the MIB module reference in the import statement cannot be resolved. So in our case we got a bunch of check marks so we're good to go. Here we can safely click OK and we can close this window out. For this example I imported a JDSU RCATS MIB. As you can see, it is now available for me. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to export this to a Nickel rules file. So here I'm going to click on the actual MIB itself in the MIB modules window and select export. The next window is basically asking me where I want to put the exported rules files at. In this case, I'm going to keep it simple and place them on my desktop. MIB Manager will then create a directory or a folder on my desktop and place those rules files in that folder. We definitely want to change the file type to Netcool Knowledge Library version 3x. And we want to also make sure we click the selected subtrees only. If not, it will try to export everything we see in the, mob, in the MIB modules window. Now we can click export. Now we can see here that the export was successful and 11 objects were exported. We can click OK.